Are you watching me? <laughs> Creep. Good morning slash afternoon slash evening, J JDs and Lentilmen? That's <laughs> Okay. Good morning slash afternoon slash evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am AJ the Alchemist. If you're new to the channel, I do vlogs, I do comedy skits, and I talk about all things bearded. If you want to stick around for the content, please make sure you subscribe and like this video. Let's talk about your beard, though. We know it could use some help. Let's get it a bit more moisturized. Let's make it grow a bit more. Cool? Cool. <laughs> Tip number one is going to be for moisturizing your beard. And that tip is going to be to drink more water. I know it's super simple, it's super obvious, and to those who it's not obvious to, it seems super weird. Let me explain. Our bodies are predominantly made out of water. If you didn't know, now you know, in the words of the great legend. Drinking more water is not only going to give you healthier skin, and by extension, healthier skin under your beard, and not only going to give you healthier hair, but it's also going to give you healthier beard hair. It's going to make your body run more optimally, and that's what we want. So please go drink your water. I recommend drinking at least two liters a day. If you can't get there, just make sure you build up to it. If you want 500 mils now, maybe add another 500 mils next week and then build on like that. No, it's difficult. You're going to be wanting to pee the whole time. Yes, that only sticks around for the first week. But I promise you, your body is going to thank you. Go drink more water. Now, tip number two is going to be for growth. And we all want to grow a nice, thick, full beard. So, get off from your phone at night. Get off from your laptop at night. And stop doing other things so much at night. And go sleep. Guys, sleep is super, super important. You should actually get six to eight hours of sleep. That is the optimal time for your body to recuperate. You're going to feel energized. You're going to feel rejuvenated. And you're just going to be ready and much more equipped for the day ahead. Sleeping is the time when humans grow. So get some rest. Your beard's going to thank you. Your body's going to thank you. And you are going to thank me later. Now. Before we move on to tip number three, if I have offered you any sort of value in this video so far, please make sure to like the video. And when you're done with this, go get some sleep because your beard needs growth. Drink some water while you're watching this video also. <laughs> now, tip number three is going to be about shaping your beard. Keep your hand on the lines on your beard. When I say lines, I mean your cheek lines, your neckline and the line behind your beard. Let me put you into perspective. Imagine if I shaved off everything besides a strip going from one cheek under my chin to the other cheek. It's not going to look good. Now compare that to the guy you just saw on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube and he has like super sharp tight lines and everything is just mm, you just want to look like him, right? If you compare those, it's not really a competition. Keep your hands on your lines. You're going to take your razor blade, you're going to take your trimmer or your hair machine. And all you're going to do is, if you're new to this, just take it and draw a straight line from in line with your ear to the corner of your lip. That's good for your cheek line. For your neck, what you want to do is you want to take your finger, this finger right here, the, not, not my finger, the, your this finger. You're going to put it under your Adam's apple. You're going to draw a straight line across and you're going to trim everything under that line. For the back line, all you do is you grab your cheek, you pull it, and then you run the machine or the razor blade behind that. And your beard is going to look super, super sharp. If you have a moustache, just trim along your lip. Or if you want to grow it out, cool, it's November, you know, rock the moustache. Now, bonus tip. For you guys who are just starting out growing a beard, please do not, under any circumstances, I repeat, do not, <sighs> do not grow a chin strap. It's not going to look good. For 99.9% .9 of guys, chin straps just do not look good because they don't execute it right. It's very rare that you're going to find somebody with a good chin strap. Now, most of the times guys do it above the jawline or they do it too low under the jawline and it's just, it's not flattering. Don't trim along your jaw as well. 
do what I said, trim along your neckline. It's going to make your beard look much more structured. Now, if you enjoyed the video, I thank you so much for sticking through it until this long, until this long. I thank you so much for sticking through it to the end and i thank you for liking the video i trust that you did guys please social distance sanitize your hands stay safe and i'll see you in the next one okay this is like my bubble gum out just wait quickly i uh, english bundle is depleted now i talk about beards talk about um you know i do everything got to do with beards i don't do beards that sounds weird now back to the video